Um, so the 13th of September, Tuesday, um, the ambassadors are arriving at various times. I have sent out to the night hosts the times that their, um, their ambassadors are arriving. Uh, the one caution is that's the arrival time um, based on today's um, airline um, information. <laughs> yeah. Because um, so we could think we have everything together, but perhaps we may not. So we'll just have to work with that, and each of the night hosts will just be on guard for um, for when their their ambassadors come. Um, the, we will start that afternoon at, for the welcome party. Uh, Michael and Joanne Curran are going to be having it at their home. And um, because there is a bit of a limited space, um, the people who are invited are the night hosts and the um, ambassadors, of course. And I think, Wendy, is that? Everything, I think that's, yeah, okay. So we apologize if there, um, you know, some of the others of you had wanted to come. Oh, and I think the day coordinators are coming as well, or can come if you, if you wish, okay? Um, to, uh, Wednesday, the 14th, we're gonna start at the art gallery. Um, we were supposed to have a tour guide but unfortunately that week the guides are be in training. So if anyone knows someone who is very familiar with the art gallery, please wave your hand or if you have a friend who might be interested in helping out for that, we'd appreciate it. If not, um, we're gonna try and work something out anyways so that we can show them some of the, the main areas and then they can they can go through. As a result of that, I did get a slight reduction in the um, in the cost. So it's a it's a balancing act for that. Um, but um, anyways, that even that afternoon, we're going to ask the night host to provide bag lunch um, for the uh, ambassadors, and then after that, we're oh and. I am working with the president of the uh, Canadian Club to see if they can um, find um, or determine a time when they might be able to get together with some of the ambassadors that um, uh, who they have stayed with um, in Edmonton. The, uh, the Canadian Club, for those of you who aren't aware, just went to um, on a um, journey to Edmonton in July. And so they were trying to meet up. I'm not sure if anything, if that will end in something. Um, I've had a number of discussions with, uh, with the President Harry, and um, I've shared the, um, the activity list. And so he thought maybe at the lunch on the Wednesday might be a good time, but he's got to check with the people who um, are, um, have their ambassadors, so do that connection, which hasn't been done yet. Um, after lunch, um, there's a walking tour of churches in downtown Ottawa. It's approximately two hours in length. It's a kind of a leisurely walk. Um, the one thing is, some of the churches are actually closed now permanently, and sadly, we have to say that. But they're quite beautiful. Uh, Joya and Drew Halpenny, who are on vacation right now, um, are leading the, the day. And they have gone through the, um, with all of the churches, etc. cetera. And um, they are quite impressive. And they are trying to see if we can get into any of the churches. We may not. But this was one of the things that had been on the Edmonton Group's list to see, which is why we're doing it. Um, the pickup. Of the ambassadors, there's the address there, 149 Somerset Street. It's a private parking lot that holds about 20, 25 cars. Um, it's the officer's mess, of which Drew is a member of. So he felt that it would be an okay place to uh, pick people up. Um, or if people 
um, want to walk back with Drew because he'll be walking back to the art gallery area. Um, he'll um, point out other areas of interest to the, some of the ambassadors. If that works better for you um, as a night host, you can have that dialogue with your ambassadors. Um, on September 15th, Thursday, um, Rideau Hall, we have set the time at 9.45. That could change because we are not able to book the, uh, that area until September. September is pretty close, but we'll let you know as soon as we get the information. Um, and the afternoon is the Museum of History, and that we have a group reservation for. We're good in terms of that. And then after that, in the evening, is the Friendship Dinners. And the one of the emails that I sent out in the past week, I think, has the listings of who's hosting the dinner, and the guests who are going to um, to the dinner. Now, if I've forgotten anybody, please let me know, and we'll find you. Uh, we'll try to to move you into one of the areas that's closest to, if possible, to where you live. One of the challenges we've had is that a lot of the people in this um, journey are on the west end, and there are a few on the east end. And uh, so it's been a little bit of a challenge uh, to just to do that um, as uh, getting you as close as possible, the day host um, with the night host. So we've done our best. Um, but um, anyways, that's, you know, we're working with uh, over the summer. And there are a lot of people having vacation at the same time. Um, so Friday the 16th, we're going to start with the... Uh, receiving some information uh, from Anna at, uh, concerning the International Plowing Match and the Rural Expo, which is going to be held from the 20th of um, August to the 24th. It's quite an exciting event for Kempville and area. And um, I know that uh, for those who are quilters, there are a lot of quilts there. Um, and they were in Kempville, I think, last weekend, and they're going to be back. And it's, it's quite the show on its own. Um, so the information is there. So for those of you who have had 11 o'clock to meet in Merrickville, it's now been moved back to by a half an hour to 11.30. I will send out an update on this, but I just got this this morning. So um, just... But the rest of the information is, um, is the same um, as it was in the, Anna, or Wendy, sorry? On the um, first line of the uh, Friday. Yes. It's August the 24th, 20th to the 24th it's written. It yes. Should be September. Yes. Oh, September, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's hard to I get didn't even notice that. It's hard to get good direction. <laughs> Okay. And do you want feedback at this time? Because I can tell you we can have a wagon tour. Do you want to know that uh, now? So that we have a wagon tour of the... No, it's not there. I'm just oh, telling no, you. Oh, okay. Well, I don't remember seeing it on the... No, that's because okay, I'm just telling you it. now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll have a wagon tour. Rather than me talking about it, it'll be a wagon tour with somebody that really knows everything about it. Oh, okay. Good. What time is it in? It, we, when we get there at 10, it'll be five or ten minutes afterwards. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll update that. Yeah. Okay. Place is still the same. All right. Um, after Merrickville, um, people will meet at Forish, says the... Uh, They're talking about, do you want to talk about Merrickville? Because you've only talked sure. about Kempville. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Do you want to? Okay. Sure. I, well, I was... Go ahead. Okay, so can you come to the front so we can get the recording? Okay, then I'll do it. Never mind. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going to meet in Merrickville at the Block House, which is located by the canal. Um, at the, and it's, the specifics are provided in the activity uh, sheet. And um, um, Perrette is the day coordinator for that, and she's going to give, give a, um, 
information session on Merrickville, some of the history and information on the Rideau Canal as well, and some maps of the town. The ambassadors will be on their own to, um, to go to see the areas that they're interested in. Um, and that, and so of course um, there will be, um, they can choose their lunch, it will be kind of lunch um, together, whoever wants to go to whatever restaurant. Yeah, are you um, giving them a list of the restaurants? Okay, so a list Seven of the restaurants will be provided. So okay, and um, so there are some of the other things I, I'm remembering anyways in Merrickville, there's an antique place, there are a lot of neat stores, there's um, glass blowing, um, and there's a little grocery store that has the really good mustard. Um, yes, Mrs. McGargles. Mrs. McGargles, yes. So there are a lot of things to see for a couple of hours, and it gives them the sense of one of the historical towns. Again, this was a request by the ambassadors. Um, so then, Forish. There is a barbecue at Anna and, and Paul Rochon's place. The address is on the activity list. Um, one of the reasons we are asking for the cell phones is because in past, some people have, not just Anna's, but other places have either forgotten their list or what the address is or whatever. And so we thought, you know, there has been, have been times when people couldn't reach anybody because there was only one person with a cell phone or something. So we're doing the, we're collecting the cell phone numbers so that in the event that someone is, um, gets mixed up in, in the, um, on the way or something, you can call and you can connect hopefully with somebody. And uh, we'll share that list. Um, okay, so that is um, the Friday. The Saturday, we're doing the Diefenbunker uh, Museum in Carp, and um, this again was a request from the ambassadors. Um, and for lunch, we are going to the Kin Vineyards in Carp. It is on the Carp Road, the Carp Road past. The, uh, we can put the address in, I, that's probably something we should add, but it's, you can see it right off the main road when you're in the little town. It's on the left-hand side as you're driving towards the, um, the um, Deepen Bunker Museum. And um, there's the Carp uh, Farmer's Market, which is usually quite big and quite interesting. So if your ambassadors are interested in stopping to see, um, it's there and it's very easy. Joan? I think it's open from 8 till 1, the farmer's market. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Saturdays in car. Okay. <coughs> Better put that down. Yeah. 1 p.m. Okay. So it might be before the deep bunker that you went there. So. It's probably when there's the best selection it of... It opens at 8. Pardon me? It opens at 8. 8, yes. Okay. Um, so after that, it's, you know, um, have a, a little bit of a rest time um, with your ambassadors and, and visit. Um, Sunday is the flex day. And um, so what I've done is I've provided some suggestions for that. Um, in addition, in the email that I sent earlier, I um, mentioned that Eve Elliott and Bob had suggested a walking um, tour. They have a walking trail themselves at their place, and so they're recommending that as a possibility too. So if anybody wishes to, to participate in that, please let uh, Bob and, uh, and Eve uh, know so that they can plan for that. Apparently there's a lot of parking and this sort of thing, so that's one of the options. Um, if um, anybody has any other suggestions, feel free to share them. Um, but there are quite a few there, and I'm sure that, that those of you who are hosting um, know some, some neat places that you'd like to share, or some of your favorite places that you might want to share with your um, 
ambassadors. I was just going to say, so everybody picks their own idea and goes off with just the first name. Yes, generally what you do is you have a dialogue with your ambassadors and say, what would you like to do? Okay. And you, these are some suggestions. Um, so if you're a day host, you are assigned certain people all the time? Yeah, the if you're the day host, you would be the day host. There's the list of uh, who your night host is. Did you work? No, how are you matched up with them? You, oh, you haven't yet? Okay. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that after. Okay. And I mean, you could st you could still participate as well. Okay. okay. And um, so it's generally you try to to um, provide what the ambassadors are thinking of. Um, but there are a lot of areas that we're not spending too much time in the market. So downtown. So. There, there might be some interest in going back downtown or this sort of thing. So it's just kind of that and the weather will probably determine what it is you're doing. And um, I mean, if people decide to go to the Elliots for a walk, then they may want to go for a walk and then in the afternoon do something else as well. It's, it's really up to, up to the group themselves or the, the, the hosts the night hosts, the day host, and the ambassadors. Um, sometimes I think in past people have decided to do some things together, but it's kind of a, a it just depends on, on groups, so. Um, okay, so now the flex day. So Monday is our last day of activities, and the times may change here because um, we are trying, there's the surprise tour. Um, I'll tell you guys, but I'd like it to be a, a possible surprise for the uh, ambassadors. I, I realized very late that my neighbor works for the, for the Senate. So she's trying to put together a, um, a tour for us, but it would include a tour that um, you, you don't always get into. It's not kind of like the one from off the street. So she thought she was hoping she'd be able to get us into a couple of areas that you don't usually get to. Um, she works for the speaker. So that is the possible surprise tour. Um, so, um, but I apologize because I was a little late in remembering where she worked. Um, so um, other than that, the Supreme Court, we cannot get into it, unfortunately. Um, but it is an interesting building, and so I thought to make it a little interesting if we went around and I could tell, I actually worked at the Supreme Court for a while, and I participated in the renovations of uh, the court quite a while ago now, but um, it, it is a very interesting building, and then maybe if they hear that, they might want to go another time when the court is actually open for visitors. Um, but the back of the the uh, courthouse is quite interesting too and gives you a great view of the river and across the river too and it's a little less busy than Parliament as well. Um, and um, then we go for a walk uh, along the canal to see the locks and that as well. That's the other area and then we're still in the process of um, working with um, the MP from Edmonton, whose office has said yes, they would do something um, and, and have a tour, etc. But we don't know the exact time or anything. In fact, we're going back and forth with them right now. And they are, um, they've said, oh, well, you'll have to wait again until the beginning of September. So the reason it's the 19th is that is the first day that Parliament opens. And the ambassadors from Edmonton asked if they could do a um, uh, visit question period. We're not even sure if there is a question period that day. Um, Kathy, you don't think there is? No, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so anyway, so that's a little bit fluid at this point. But we can easily do the Supreme Court, visit the grounds and hear the history about the building. Um, and uh, do the canal and the locks and hopefully. Yes, Rosa? What time are you planning to start it now? Okay. Um, I, the question is what time are we planning on starting that day? I'm not exactly sure. 
I would think not before 9 o'clock, but I don't know. It will depend on what we get back from the MP's office and the Senate.